guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. week's yin reading for April the 28th until May the 5th. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to be doing um, a Celtic wing reading. So let me pull the cards first. Let me just give this a good shuffle first. Whoa. These ones are actually really hard to shuffle with. This is my deck. All right, so let's pull the cards first, and I'll go through the positions. All right, so let's begin. So starting with the present position, Eight of Wands. So the feminine was bringing this card into the union, the Twin Flame reading. So um, this could be communication, Cupid's arrows, um, accelerated energy, excitement, really vibrant um, return of karmic energy. So it's seeing the finish line. It's stepping on the gas. Okay, so at the foundation we have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, independent, self-love, feeling um, like you've arrived in the 3D, feeling accomplished. So this is a very positive, grounded energy to be standing on as a foundation. Um, you know, it's looking after yourself, doing things that make you happy, going on a vacation, um, treating yourself to a dinner or to a new outfit, getting out into the, um, you know, into nature. Okay, so what's in the external environment? The crown chakra. Or, sorry, this is the, um, the past position. So the crown chakra is... Um, a direct connection to source, to your higher self. So the feminine has been in an illuminated state and that's where that groundedness and positive energy is flowing from. So that's good. What does she want and likely to get? Throat chakra communication. So again, communication is important. Um, we saw that also in the Twin Flame reading, the sense of her opening up, expressing herself. There's something um, that needs to be said. Right? She wants a positive return, communication to come towards her. So at the crossroads, we have the two wands, door opening. Now that idea of a door opening was a major theme for the masculine reading there is an opportunity there. So this card in the near future is expansion, seeing all the possibilities, um, growing an idea, making a decision to pursue your higher calling. So what are you resisting? The universe card. So you are resisting putting the final piece of the puzzle in place. You're resisting um, completing the fool's journey, you, that possibility is there, but you're not seeing something, um, 
you've got ma major awareness here with the crown chakra in the past and, and the connection with the universe in the near future, but in the present moment, you're resisting connecting with the universe. Um, you're resisting seeing something. So the internal environment, wow, synchronicity, this showed up in the present position in the Twin Flame reading, Six of Cups. Internal environment, you want to reconnect, you want, um, you know, you, you're thinking about somebody from the past, you want to reunite, you're very pure, innocent, warm, loving energy, strong desire for the feminine to want to connect with the masculine. Your external environment is the hermit, so somebody has detached, um, this could be the feminine detaching from the masculine, but we saw that energy in the twin flame reading as well. So, you know, this is somebody who's very wise, who is unchained, who um, pursues ph philosophical questions. You know, so they're looking for their internal light. So it's coming in the external. You're resisting the universe. The external is the hermit or the philosopher. Um, either way, there's an opening in the near future. So let's continue on. Okay, what will be judgment card? So this is looking for an answer, reviewing your life, and having that illumination. It's the calling, the awakening. So even though you're resisting it, there is that illumination. So, you know, you, your mind opens. You see how you may have been held back by something. Um, so you can create your own reality, right? So we see this expansion happening again in the near future. And, you know, this is the main... Um, a main result of, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to continue on. I drew a blank there for a second. Okay, so what's the summary outcome? Justice. This was the overall energy card for the masculine reading. So the karmic justice, justice is energy returning to you what you put out to the universe you get back so we got the feminine sending out this vibration this positive vibration um, into the universe the door is opening and the universe is responding as a summary there is a karmic return happening um, you will see you will hear that awakening. What you want is communication, the throat chakra. What you will get is what you need. Not necessarily what you want, um, but what I see is it turning out you know, in a great way. So here we have major completion, feeling like you've arrived at this stable place in your life. And so you're also sending out that, you know, Cupid's arrows and and whatnot, and that re that is returning to you. But there's something you need to see. So this will all be clarified in the extended reading. Okay, so the final outcome, wow. The Four of Wands, spiritual um, union in the 3D reality. Incredible. That's that karmic return, that vibration return to you as a the 1111 card. I use this as confirmation for Twin Flame Connection. Wow. What you want is union or reunion. What you will get is reunion. Oh, my little owl fell down. Okay. So the overall energy is, wow, the lover's card. Are you kidding me? Beautiful. So this is um, recognizing your twin flame um, on a soul level and feeling this passion ignited within you. A very beautiful union energy here that is coming to you. So the lover's card could also 
um, point to having to make a decision about a love relationship. And you can see that relation that um, relationship here and a decision reviewing your life, um, wanting that final piece of puzzle to be placed, but there's resistance there. So I see that door opening and that flow returning to the feminine. Beautiful. Okay, so I am going to pull. Um, what did I use for the masculine? I think I used Call It Baron Reed, Wisdom of the Oracle. So this will be a final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the feminine? Stop. Peace. Peace will be yours. And peace is yours. You see that peace coming in from the past and you embracing it. Okay. So peace, freedom from attachment, radical acceptance. So the relationship message, when two people are in true alignment with one another, they have an innate harmony between them. They are two perfectly tuned instruments playing together. Sometimes it's impossible to tell who is who. Peace is yours and is to be savored. Oh, God. And remember the Nine of Cups showed up as a final outcome. You know, your dreams fulfilled. But I see this beautiful, peaceful, um, harmonious union. Um, wow. It's a repeated theme in all of the readings that I've done. Um, the, the Yang reading, the Twin Flame reading. Prepare for union. Boom. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video there and I'm going to do the extended reading. So if you'd like to purchase that, you can click on the link below and it will take you to my website. Um, or you can also um, get all of the extended readings and early bird offers through uh, Patreon. So the link for that is also below. All right. Cheers. See you next week. Welcome back, Yin. This is the extended version of the Yin reading. So I'm using my smaller deck here. I'm just giving a quick shuffle. So I'm going to pull a past, present, and future card. Okay. So beginning with the present position, so the Eight of Wands, accelerated energy, Cupid's arrows, you're sending this vibration, this vibration of illumination, consciousness, connection to your higher self, grounded, um, and uh, grounded within your own knowing, right? Self-love, beautiful energy coming in, in your present position. Okay, so three cards. All right, so the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Ten of Pentacles, past position. We have the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a long-term goal. Um, feeling like you've arrived. Feeling complete. Feeling, you know, you're like your house and your home and, and all of your children and children's children are being looked after. So there's a sense that you felt complete and harmonious in the past, grounded within yourself. Um, that vibration is sent out into the universe. Now we got the Seven of Swords and the Six of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is feeling like you can't trust somebody, feeling like somebody's going to stab you in the back. And then the Six of Swords is walking away from that energy, movement away. So very confusing to see this type of energy um, kind of creeping in. It's like these doubts. Um, you know, I I felt complete and in control of my life in the past. I want to send this loving vibration out into the universe, but I'm afraid. Um, I'm afraid that it's going to come back in a negative way. I'm afraid that it's all in my head, it's an illusion, just thoughts, negative thoughts, right? And so then we have this move to stillness, to calmness, 
which is exactly what is needed. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, Justice, the Hangman, and the Ten of Swords. So we got kind of a, a synchronicity here with the justice in the past and the justice as a summary outcome. So the summary outcome summarizes the entire reading. This is saying, okay, this reading is about a karmic return. It is about the vibration I'm sending out to the universe. And so these cards are going to tell, lay it out. It's going to um, tell, you know, the viewer or whatever uh, how this is going to play out. Right? And this karmic return is going to come back as the Four of Wands, as union. Okay, so that energy is its like it's already been, the intention has already been set. Okay, and that intention and vibration is a positive one. So this positive vibration, karmic return, is definitely a key factor here. Now the hangman is the switch in perspective, letting go of control. This is when, this is what happens when there's a lot of chaos in your environment, right? Negative thoughts, negative people. And so instead of trying to control a situation, you let go. You allow things to play out. Um, you know, you, karmic justice will take care of itself. If you love yourself, you know, and come from a place of authenticity and just surrender, that situation or person or what have you will end on its own accord. So we see like this 11 card with karmic return coming back as an ending, reducing to one. And it's because the feminine was able to love herself and concentrate on herself and surrender to um, Lady Justice. And also I see here the feminine cutting out negative thinking in the future, right? So we got that movement away from negative thought. Awesome. Okay, so in the past position, crown, chakra. Wow, there's that King of Pentacles again. Six of Wands and the Page of Wands. Interesting. Um, so the King of Pentacles showed up twice in the Twin Flame reading on the feminine side and on the masculine side for the extended version. Okay, so the King of Pentacles um, is obviously an important synchronicity. So the Crown Chakra connected with the King of Pentacles. This could be an earth sign or this could be the feminine just feeling grounded in herself, feeling successful. The Nine and Ten of Pentacles is coming from the past and somebody who would be able to accomplish that type of groundedness and success is the King of Pentacles. So beautiful. There is this peace, this serenity that comes from consciousness that is creating a groundedness within her. And it's, it's fueling this fire, this excitement that grows into the Eight of Wands, right? It's feeling like the rock star, feeling like you're on the right path. And then we got the Page of Wands in the future. Now this actually came in as a crowning energy for the feminine and it came on the masculine side in the future. So there is this new beginning. It's excitement. It's great news. A new start. So this energy is pulled in from the past and is being lit in the future you know there's this great news that's coming and it comes from a place of consciousness um, yeah so what I see here is a new start that is able to come through because of your self-reflection and your mere reflection is this beautiful vibrant soul that is not pursuing material needs um, but instead is you know connecting with herself and with in nature you know and not allowing the external environment to control her because she she trusts that you know this karmic return will come back to her that there will be reunion there is going to be an awakening as well 
Um, but let's carry on. Okay, so why do you want the throat chakra? The King of Cups, the Universe, the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. The King of Cups in the past position, this emotional connection either with water sign or the masculine. Okay, so there's this love, this bond, um, somebody who shows their emotions, who expresses themselves, you know, and so there was an emotional connection and a, there is a desire to communicate, right? There's this feeling of wanting to put that final piece of the puzzle in place but unable to do it because she's waiting for something to manifest um, so she desires communication she, she desires that ending the end of the fool's journey she wants to communicate with the masculine and we got the seven of pentacles in the future is contemplation waiting for harvest to return so um, if this is what you want spirit is saying then you're going to be waiting for it you're always going to be in that wait right so instead of waiting and desiring and wanting something um, to play out in a certain way you need to disconnect from that those thoughts and you know just trust in karma um, yeah so the near future is the two of wands whoa devil the Knight of Swords makes an appearance again in the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so the devil, the ego, creeping in. You know, there's that Ten of Swords, that need to surrender. So the ego was whispering in the feminine's mind, this could be a chain, codependent relationship, something holding her back. And But she walked through that door. She ended a karmic relationship or... Um, you know, the, the Knight of Swords is, could represent a person who is um, a thrill seeker, who is unchained, who um, is directionless. And so it's very chaotic energy, and that energy was playing out in the Twin Flame reading, right? So it's a, you know, a sense of a chaining and then unchaining. Um, now this is somebody who also sits down, speaks their truth, and this was a final outcome, right? This night was coming in in the future twice. And so there is a sense that in the near future, this energy is coming towards the feminine. And it may be an energy that has triggered her in the past, but... Keeping herself open is the important part here, right? That door is open. There's a movement and expansion again. So the three pentacles in the future. So this is groundedness, a return to stability, um, feeling successful, seeing the fruits of your labor. So there could be communication that comes in very quickly. It may have an ego link. But there's an unchaining and opening and success as a result. So, why are you resisting the universe? Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Cool. So, Six of Pentacles, you're, what you're telling me is that you're open to this connection. Now, this is a card you're bringing into the union. You know, this very open giving of yourself, right? Even though you're not being asked to give, you still give. So you're saying that you were open in the past. And in the present position, there's this four of pentacles. This showed up also in the past position. And no, it was just the past position for you guys, for the feminine. So this is somebody who's closed off in the 3D reality. Where you are open, you're now closed off. The future is another closed off energy, eight of swords, creating your own prison. And this was a message from the universe in the twin flame reading. You created a prison and open yourself, release yourself from that prison, be free like that bird, rise, right? Very cool synchronicity. So you're resisting, um, you're resisting being open. You are creating this prison um, by closing off, right? So that final piece of the puzzle can't be placed. 
because you are you are purposely resisting it by being closed off don't close yourself off yeah okay so your internal environment is the six of cups the nine of pentacles the transformation card and the five of swords okay so the nine of pentacles past position cool synchronicity same card Groundedness, feeling like you've arrived, feeling complete, but yet you're missing somebody very important. You're desiring um, reconnection. Now, the transformation card actually showed up in the external environment in the masculine extended reading, or just reading, basic reading, I think. So um, there is an ending there. You are cutting away the ego you are transforming your life you know the butterfly rising from the chrysalis self-love but you may still be holding on to the twin flame connection unable to let go and as a result it's creating conflict mental conflict the five of swords seven of swords six of swords that there's a cluster of negative thoughts wanting to, to reconnect you feeling that this connection may be ending or you're desiring to end it to to no longer think about this connection but instead return to the basics to self-love right you're moving away from the five of swords in the future you're transforming into something pure releasing yourself from that prison okay so what will be is the judgment card the moon, the queen of pentacles, wow, the 1111 card, oh my god, synchronicity, spiritual union. So the moon is fears, being in the dark, not knowing your way, um, not being able to trust. Okay, the ego, that's where those whispers are coming from, the devil, from the past. So put an end to that negative thinking once and for all. So the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's independent. So you're returning to that stable self-love. And also you're re-embracing this sense of giving of yourself. The Queen of Pentacles gives very much like the Six of Pentacles. What you want is that... Uh, final piece to be placed you want communication you want this reconnection with the twin flame and with that wanting will come more wanting so if you return to your self-love and see the light you know create a new reality for yourself there's something you need to see and you there will be illumination you will find regain that independence and abundance will flow into your life and then we got the 1111 card once again same card confirmation um there is a period of darkness but a return to um it's harvest right this this is what you want and because you want you will have to wait what you will get is harvest um, if you're able to detach from your fears, you will get that abundance. But you need to see something first. You're closing yourself off. Okay, so the summary outcome. Oh, I forgot about the um, hermit. Wow, these are beautiful. Oh my God. Oh my God. The karmic return, girls, ladies, justice is saying that twin flame connection is returning to your life. Unconditional love, heart chakra, present position, um, embrace love, be love, and it is returning to you in the future. Holy shit. I can't count the number of synchronicities in this reading. It's incredible. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God, it makes me want to cry. 
Wow. So don't close off. Don't block the masculine on Facebook. Don't cut him out of your life. Don't act from an ego and make rash decisions. Don't blame the masculine for the way you feel. Final outcome. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Let's go back to your external environment is... Sorry, they're all falling forward. Okay, so the hermit in your external. Four of swords. Okay, so that's masculine energy. Two of pentacles. Yep, it's masculine. And wow, the ten of wands. Yep, it's all the masculine. So the masculine had the four of swords and he got it again um, in the twin flame reading. So the, his present position for the masculine reading was the four of swords. His retreat, um, movement away from the three of swords, heartbreak, right? So he needed to detach. So he's moved from the four swords into a hermit, which is somebody who's um, withdrawing uh, from an emotional or mental state, whereas the hermit is searching for solitude in order to find ph philosophical answers. Now, the two of pentacles showed up um, in the crossroads position for the masculine, so there's change, and change is scary. But by t detaching, being the hermit, it's allowing that transition, and the ten of wands kept on showing up for the masculine as well. This was in his resisting position. I think it showed up in the present. He's bringing it in from the past. Exhaustion, burden. So it's an end to that burden. That's perfect summary of what was happening in the, the masculine reading. Very powerful synchronicity. Final outcome, four of wands, page of swords, whoa, solar plexus, and the seven of cups. So, Page of Swords, past position, communication, having a thought, an idea to start something new, pursuing that idea, pursuing a, a communication, truthful communication. Um, now, it could be um, petty arguments as well, somebody being childish with their words. So, there is some type of communication coming in from the press, you know, that is important to the feminine. Now, the solar plexus chakra is power, courage, strength. So you're exerting your strength onto the world in, in order to, to overcome something. So we saw this triggered energy as a final outcome for the twin flame reading. We had the throat chakra, the, um, the nine of cups. Uh, oh my God, I'm totally blanking. The Five of Wands as well. So there was this obstacle, this challenge. Oh yeah, the Knight of Swords and a trigger, an energy coming in very quickly, stirring shit up and then kind of disappearing and causing confusion. So the Seven of Cups in the future, that's kind of that confused energy again. It's like, wow, I did not expect this to happen. Um, it came out of nowhere, nowhere and there's this fear that is triggered and a kind of like what the fuck is going on but it's what you wanted is there and it's like you you're like you're basically saying what the fuck I did not expect that holy shit um and it triggers you in some way Okay, so let me pull one card from um, the Osho Zen as a final, final message from the universe. Holy crap. This reading doesn't scream union. Oh, I don't know what could. Oh, wow. There you go, the miser. Don't be the freaking miser. Open yourself up. Don't hold on to things. Very cool. So let me read that. Okay. This woman has created a fortress around herself and is clinging to all the possessions she thinks um, are her treasures. In fact, she has accumulated so much stuff with which to adorn herself, including feathers and furs and living creatures that she has made herself ugly 
in the effort. <clears throat> this card challenges us to look at what we are clinging to and what we feel we possess that is so valuable that it needs to be protected by a fortress. It needn't be a big bank balance. Sorry, it, yeah, it needn't be a big bank balance or a box full of jewels. It could be something as simple as sharing our time with a friend or taking the risk of experiencing our love to another. Like a well that is sealed up and becomes stagnant from disuse. Our treasure becomes tarnished and worth worthless if we refuse to share it. Whatever you're holding on to, remember that you can't take it with you. Loosen your grip and feel the freedom of expansiveness sharing can bring. Holy shit. Feel the freedom of expansiveness that sharing will bring. Don't close off. Remember, this is a sharing card. Don't close off. Feel the expansion of the universe. Wow. Open yourself up to the universe and that brings in love. Okay, so that was pretty powerful. So please um, leave a comment. I always love to read what you guys have to say about the reading. And thank you again for your, your love and support during that difficult time. Um, you guys gave me strength. And um, yes, I love you so very, very much. All right. Peace. Haha, <laughs> peace. <laughs> okay.